This is Wessex, which is, as the caption says, a 70-foot Les Allen. Um, the Allen brothers built boats for many, many years. They were part of generations of boat builders, more than 150 year, years, building on the Birmingham Canal navigations at Valencia Wharf in Oldbury. You can see this has a, a raised tug-style deck. There's a storage below that you can see through the hatches, although much of that space below is a massive freshwater tank. And then you drop down into the saloon area. See there's four chairs here. It's lined throughout with a, with a knotty pine, very much of the time. And it's a boat with an awful lot of character. Uh, the first owner, the chap who had it built, was a man called Michael Lloyd, who is one of Britain's leading silversmiths, I understand. And you will see some of his uh, carvings later. Spinning round through the soon and looking forward, you have down here a diesel-fired stove. It's a bubble. It also runs a pipe that basically to and fro circulates around the whole boat to keep it all nice and warm in in clement weather. Behind here you have some hanging space and storage for whatever you wish to store really. And then off the corridor you have a bath. It's a three quarter size bath there. Turn the light on so you can see a bit better. And next to that you have a, a decorative basin uh, set to a cupboard unit. That's a Paloma gas water heater, so you have instant hot water on tap whenever you desire. And a porta potty cassette that you just caught sight of. This continues through into the galley area. You have a large sort of storage locker here and a set of side doors of course. There are several sets of side doors in this boat and that is one of several Michael Lloyd works of art that are built into this boat. There's a cannon gas cooker standing in the corner here. Usual four burner grill oven set up and then you have solid wood worktops and a circular sink set into it. Uh, below the worktop there you just caught sight of a three-way gas fridge. Uh, it's also 12 volt and mains electricity if you wish. And beyond that you have a sort of one-sided dinette if you like. Uh, there's a bench seat at one end of it and then beyond that you have a permanent double berth. It's a pigeon box built overhead, bring in some extra light, and then a doorway that runs through into the back half of the boat, which is the engine room and the traditional boatman's cabin. Once again, plenty of storage in here, shelves and cupboard units. And there's that pigeon box again. And a much larger, what is sometimes called a dog box. Why is it called a dog box? I have no idea, but that's what they are often referred to as over the kitchen, the galley. Well, coming back through the boats, you can also see in the saloon, uh, there's a large desk, which gives a very sort of nice appearance. And then back out onto the tug deck. Right, let's get into that engine room. This is the Kelvin that I talked about earlier. It is a truly impressive piece of machinery. It was built in 1946. It was substantially rebuilt in 2013-14 stroke and has probably done about 50 hours since, which is next to nothing, just chugging along the summit pound of the Grand Union near Tring. Uh, the owner also has a large amount of spares for this, which are down in Sussex, I understand. 
Um, you are welcome to have them as part of the deal. You would need a van to go and collect them, though. Out into the boatman's cabin. This is a faithful replica. You've got a long bench seat to one side, which you can also use as a single berth if you need. There's a boatman's range here in the corner. Uh, traditional lace plates behind it. And there's a drop down table, and beyond that, you have the double berth. This drops across to make the traditional boatman's double, but it has a clever folding insert that actually allows you to make it into an altogether more roomy lengthways double. And that folds out. like so. And the mattresses for that are stored in the cupboard behind. There's plenty of scumbling in here and traditional decoration horse brasses and so forth. And there's the drop down table. Opened up. All the other little nooks and crannies that uh, existed in well, what was once the the home for the, the working boat people. Out onto the deck and very much a Les Allen stern built onto this boat. Uh, that was pretty very distinctive style to them. This is the view from the steerer's position. And this is a, a good view of the outside of the boat. Um, really lovely paintwork as well, really sort of tug style colours. And that is Wessex. Uh, you can download a full colour brochure. Uh, there's also a gallery of about 30 photographs and a layout plan which you can see on our website rugbyboats.co.uk